Uh, mm-hmm. Next topic got uh, Taylor Swift and her racist, uh, homophobic boyfriend. I mean, those are two horrible words, and the fact that they're used in the same sentence about the same person makes me want to vomit. Um, <laughs> I'll vomit for you. Ugh. Like, Ugh. I um, you already know I'm a Swifty. Yes, I love Taylor Swift. If y'all tuned in to last week, um, so I feel like your you may like your opinion probably carries more weight right now because I'm not a Swifty and I I haven't really been following her that much. I don't so. think you even have to really be a Swifty to like you said earlier. Like you know the message that Taylor sure, Swift sure. puts out, but I'm definitely curious to hear a Swifty's opinion over a non Swifty. It's like I'm not gonna tell someone who to date, of course, like to each their own. But when you're that kind of person and putting out. I'm a family, love, positivity, and then this guy is being transphobic, racist, talking about masturbation and how he loves his D, and then also likes watching porn that humiliates certain type of women. Like, that's just disgusting. And so it's like, if you're even just doing a song with him, like, you wouldn't do that, let alone date this person who clearly, so it seems to us, has completely different, like, a different mindset than you. Do you, do you think that she's having her Lindsay Lohan breakdown moment? Uh, I hope not. What? I hope like, not. Like, I, it, like, it's just so bizarre behavior coming from her. Like, that something is either, sm- like, smells fishy to me or, like, or she's having weird. or she's having a mental breakdown. Because it just goes against what I thought, everything that she stood for. So it's like, but also, so like, I would never, I would never, ever, ever in a million trillion years be with someone that was either racist or homophobic. Right. In any capacity. I'm not a celebrity. I do have a mission that I carry in my podcast about inclusivity. Yeah. But like, I'm a blip here and she's Taylor Swift and has the platform, the biggest platform, probably bigger than the president. Mm -hmm. More people listen to her. Like. No, you think more people listen to the president? Yeah, of course. Okay, well, it was just like a like a but, yeah. I mean, metaphor. she has a huge. She has a huge it was just a yeah. metaphor. She goes. She plays three concerts in one city at the same stadium and packs up a out every single time. She has time. so much of so today's does. youth looking up to her and older. Like my mom loves her. I love her. And then the but at least kids you're love able her. to recognize right from wrong. I mean, like For this sure. is the youth that just like want to idolize somebody, and mm-hmm. she's saying it's okay to accept this kind of behavior. Yeah, and she hasn't released a statement, of course. Like no. letting, even saying if she's dating him for sure if there's music coming that would be the first thing i'd be saying is like i didn't know any of this i do not stand this is not how i feel this is not and it's crazy because two nights ago they saw them leaving i believe it was a restaurant or a studio but they were leaving together so it is kind of like annoying like once she was going she was like obviously beefing with the whole kanye a a while back um about him taking the mic from her and all this stuff blah (laughs) <laughs> yes, we all know about that. And, but she was very like vocal. We all knew that that was not right. You know, I wish. And the, I wish. Like, can we go back to the times where like that was the worst thing that was happening in music? Right. Not all this <laughs> list of this Matt he- I mean, Matty Healy, who is just like has a list of just bad crap. He is, his rap sheet is horrible. Like I, I do not want to even listen to your British music, bro. Like stay over there with that. I'm embarrassed for her. I'm embarrassed for her. Yeah, and during the tour of all things, like, I'm so, like, this is actually the one time I'm proud to say that I'm not a Swifty. Because normally I get, (laughs) normally I get, I get, like, heat for that, you know? Like, oh, you don't like Taylor Swift? And I'm like, it's not that I don't like her. I just, like, don't follow her. But now I'm like, "Mm, see? It does seem fishy. It's like, See, I knew all along, deep down, deep down, there was something telling me. I hope not. That this perfect Ugh. little image. But again, maybe she's hanging out with him because he's so such a crappy person so that she can make a really dope song out of it. Oh, even so terrible. Which is, terrible. Which is more terrible, not but I'm excuse. just going to yeah. be like, no. hopefully we'll get some good music out of this. Hopefully she <laughs> says something about it because it's not fair for us all to just be guessing because it's like yeah. causing a lot of people heartache. So, yeah, and there's even like, say, fans like being quiet is just as bad. Say yeah. something. And fans are literally trying to say like let's boycott the rest of her concert, her tour. They should. Because of Do this it. guy. Do yeah. it. Do it. And they're saying they're going to sell the tickets low too. Good. <laughs> so, good. <laughs> I don't know, it's just a lot. <laughs> I'm like I'm like calling Ticketmaster and asking for my money back. Right. I wish they As had I refunds. should have from that little Wayne concert. 
<laughs> Let's talk about that. So what segue? I, so the Little Wayne concert. So tell tell us about your experience. And you guys know how excited I was about that. You were super hold excited. Hold on, hold on. What's good, y'all? It's TJ the DJ. And this is Jet. Hey man, thanks for checking out this clip. Make sure you hit that like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.